you're attempting to solve the 4 by 4 you inevitably come to this permutation that you don't see on the 3 by 3 where you have the entire cube is solved except for one pair of edge pieces, the colors are flipped. This is called edge parity or sometimes called dredge parity also. There's a lot of complicated algorithms that will allow you to solve this, but I couldn't ever really wrap my brain around them. So I spent some time teaching myself a, a pattern that works well for solving this that I thought maybe would help some other people out if perhaps your brain doesn't operate on R prime, U prime, and all that other junk that like my brain does. So uh, we're going to start by uh, rotating this piece down. Before we get started, I'm going to show you how I rotate that. So just this inner layer needs to go down. So usually what I do, because I think it's easier, is to spin both layers and then spin this one back up. So this has the effect of just moving this one down, but it does look like perhaps I moved two layers. So I'm going to give you a summary of what we're going to do. We're going to bring this layer down and then we're going to do something. Then we're going to bring this layer down and do something, and then we're going to bring this layer back up. So it's really not that complicated. Don't get hung up on the moves. Just kind of remember the pattern that down, down, up. Okay? So the first step is going to be to bring this layer down, down. Then we're going to spin the top twice. And then we're going to bring this layer down one. Then we're going to spin this front layer twice. One, two, and now we're going to bring this one back up, just one, and then we're going to spin the front again, one, two, okay? So just to go over that real quick, this was, it was down, and then the top twice, then this was down, and then the front twice, and then this was up, and then the front twice. So the way that looks, this is the pattern that helped me remember it, was down, and then a double move, down and then a double move, up and a double move. Okay, so that's the first section. The next section is actually even easier. The first part is definitely the hardest, but even that's really not that complicated once you practice it a couple times. So now you have the cube in this state. This section is going to only operate on this section, the inner right section, and the top section. So this one again is going to be, we're going to move this one, and then there's going to be a double move, this one, a double move, this one, a double move. So again, there's a pattern here where it's you just move this with a double move in between, and this one's pretty easy. So we're going to do the next section, which looks like this. This one goes up two, and then the top twice. Then we're going to move this inner, sec or this inner right section just up one again. And again, the top goes twice. One, two. This time, this section goes down one. Okay, and then we do the top twice. One, two. Okay, so to summarize real quick, that was up twice, top, up one, top, down one, one top. Okay, so now you should start seeing that this is starting to look really close to being solved. The last step is just three easy steps. Okay, and you can kind of even see it just by looking at it that we need to get this over here. So the first step is front twice, one, two. Okay, then we're going to spin this guy around two, one, two. Okay, and the last move is pretty self explanatory, one, two. And you should have a completely solved 4x4 four four cube. Hopefully that method is a little bit easier than trying to memorize complicated algorithms. I think patterns just work better for me to solve a problem like that. Hopefully it helped. Have a great day.